Hello everybody and welcome to CEC Channel Islands. We're going to be going over some general information about the housing application. So before you can actually access the housing application through your MyCI, you need to first complete the three-step intent to enroll process through admissions and recruitment. So if you're not quite sure how to do that, go ahead and visit the admissions and cost tab on the main CI website. And from there, it'll lead you to a page that looks like this. There are two sections, one for freshman students and one for transfers. Once you click on what you're going to be incoming as, you'll be led to a page like this. If you're going to be a transfer, click on the admitted transfer page. If you're going to be a freshman, click on the admitted freshman page and you'll be led to the instructions for the three-step intent to enroll. It'll explain what the steps are and anything you need to submit after the fact for both freshmen and transfer students. If you have questions about the process, go ahead and contact our admissions office. And then if you want a link to these steps instead of navigating it, go ahead and check out the links below. And once you're ready to start the housing application, but you need some additional help other than these videos, go ahead and visit our housing tab under apply for housing. There is information here about how to apply, how to reapply, etc. So if you visit the how to apply section, you'll have five steps. In this video, we're going to be talking specifically about step three. So for minors, you will need to sign the housing license agreement. If you're over 18, you'll be able to use your student ID number. And again, for minors, you will need to sign the minor medical consent form. And once you're done with those, go ahead and send them over to the main housing office. And that information you can find here. If you have any other additional information about the license agreement or the medical consent form, go ahead and read through them thoroughly, take as many notes as you need to, and contact our housing office with any questions that you have about those agreements. And once you're ready to start the application but you're not too sure about different dates that we have, under the ap application dates tab, we have information about when the application opened, any priority dates for the application that we have, and anything in the middle, as well as when move-in date will be. So go ahead and go through all of that information and we will see you in the next video.